What's up, pack? So today we are gonna be shooting the how-to on treadmill for our puppies. So we did this with Nico when he was a puppy, and we're gonna show you the final version of, Nico, of Nico on the treadmill so you can see what this looks like in the final version. Today we're gonna have two puppies, two of my puppy, personal puppies who have never done treadmill before and have never been on a treadmill moving. They have seen a treadmill because we have one in the main room out there, but today we're gonna to be doing the intro for both dogs. So one is Marty, who's a five-month-old American Bulldog, middle of the pack, middle energy. Uh, we could also have Dawson, middle of the pack, middle energy, Kavapoo, five months old. So same age, pretty much same energies, different breeds, breeds doesn't really matter right here. Um, and we're gonna do that. So first we're gonna do Dawson and show you guys uh, how we do Dawson. I'm gonna do that with Nico in the room. Then we're gonna follow it up with Marty without Nico here. So it would be with no dogs here. And then finally, we're gonna show you Nico, the, the finished version of what it looks like uh, a dog finishing on treadmill. And again, just so you guys understand, treadmill is something that's a great uh, activity for when weather becomes an issue outside, uh, busy with work or busy things happening, we gotta get the dog on there. I use treadmill a lot in rehabilitation of dogs. It's a very good activity to focus the mind on things. It gives the um, ability to drain the body, obviously. You can bring different things, different sounds, different sights, different smells to this and really challenge a dog. So. They love it, Nico loves it. You guys are gonna see him having a great time on it. We'll bring some challenge to it. Um, but let's get going and let's get Dawson, the five month old Kavapoo, first time ever on treadmill. Here we go. So a couple uh, little, uh, I would say disclaimers about doing the treadmill. Number one is you never wanna leave your dog unattended on the treadmill. For sure, never wanna leave them unattended. Number two, if you do decide to then tie the dog, so you can get to the point of tying the dog here and the dog stays on it, my recommendation would be to condition them to the harness for that activity. Um, it, it just completely removes the potential of any choking or any um, incident like that happening. However, you can use this as well. Just make sure you're always monitoring 100% of the time while the dog's on treadmill because this is a tool that is a piece of technology and a machine that won't understand that if he got his paws caught or fell off of it or whatever it is. So I would say that this is something that we have to definitely be Therefore, be present for, um, and just make sure the dogs are always safe when doing this activity. So very important to obviously make sure, because we don't want psychologically a bad event like that to happen. Obviously a death would be the end of the world, like the end of what we would want, but um, we don't want them to also have a bad experience. Then we have to recover the dog because we were doing something else or unattended and being lazy. But uh, yeah, so that's a little uh, uh, tip on, disclaimer on using the treadmill. Okay, so here we go with Dawson. So we're gonna use Nico for this one. And we're gonna have Nico go on there first. So I have a leash on Dawson and I'm using this just so I can have control of him. Let's just say hypothetically he got startled by the thing starting or why is Nico doing that? I wanna have access to him when that happens. This way I can have influence over him. But remember, this is why it's so important to have leadership because if I don't have leadership with him, I won't be able to influence him in that scenario. They will only, we can only positively influence a dog if we have leadership with them. So again, I spend a lot of time and you guys see all the videos of us spending time on the leadership stuff. So these activities become so much easier, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I got Dawson here on the leash. He's hanging out with us, he just came in. I'm gonna put Nico on here and start it and let him see it. Um, and then let Dawson study what's happening here and then we'll see what he does with it and we'll go with the flow. So this is gonna be one where I don't, I'm not totally sure what's gonna happen. I have an idea, but let's see what it is. All right, Nico, up. So look, Dawson is gonna follow Nico, right? So first I'm gonna let him kind of be on here and stuff. And I'll invite Dawson off. Good job, buddy. So he's already helping us with step one. So I'm gonna keep Dawson right here and we're gonna start it right here. Good job, bro. And I have food here too, just in case. So look, the first thing there, he's like, what is this? Great reaction. So because that reaction is so nice, I'm gonna feed him. Good boy, buddy. So see how he feels about it? Low level excitement. So I wanna be clear about that with everybody says, like I talk about calmness a lot. So I'm looking for calmness or happy-go-lucky, which a happy-go-lucky is like out of zero to 10, zero to two excitement, win follower state. Good job, Nico boy. You're doing very good. So like I want him to also see that Nico, yeah, wow. Good job. Really good. So I'm very happy with how he feels about it. Let me show you guys over here. He's in happy-go-lucky mode. You see him? Feeling good about it. So I'm gonna stop this now. So we see the stopping of it. Good boy, Nico. Good job. I'll reward Nico, because he's been just killing it as usual. Good job, bro. Very good job, <laughs> Dawson boy. 
And for this guy, I'm using food because he's more food motivated. So we're using it. And especially in puppyhood, I'm always trying to engage the nose, right? Okay, Nico, let's go. Good job, buddy. So we took Nico off. All right, so we're gonna do a little transition here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Nico on place and then we're gonna do it with Dawson. So let's go, Nico. Nico, place. Good boy, stay there, bro. Okay, okay, Dawson boy. So now from here, right, I'm gonna be, he's already showing us that he's comfortable about this, right? So I'm gonna bring food here and then I'm just gonna guide him up. Good job. So the first thing is I just want him to be able to be on it. You guys saw that he was curious and went on it right away. If, if he wasn't curious right away, I might have grabbed the scent, put the food on here and done things like this. Let him search on here, you know what I mean? I'll show you that, what that would look like actually. Come here, Dawson boy. So I'll prevent him from going on. I'm gonna use the leash. Shh. So look, no. It's actually valuable to say that you're not allowed to go on there now because he wants to. Okay, go see. Yeah, wow, good boy. So I wanted to feel, yeah, I jumped on there and I got that food on there. Really, really good, good job. Okay, so let's go back and we're gonna do again. Step one, we're gonna use scent. Well, step one was actually just having being around, okay? So step one is being around the treadmill, smelling it, being near it. We saw we were in here, he was kind of checking it out and Nico went on it, he went on with him. So he got the first step, he felt comfortable around the treadmill. Number two is teaching him how to go on it with us asking him to go on. So we use the scent, we up, good boy. So we give him some things, he's doing very good about that. I'm not asking him to stay on it, he can come off now, right? Okay, so now step three is we're gonna bring him on there and then we're gonna start it. So this is the step that's gonna take a little bit of more time, potentially, if he gets nervous about it, if he's not sure what to do but let's see what it is. Again, I've built a lot of trust with him, so my theory is he might be like, what is this? And then I think he's gonna recover really quickly and do it great. So let's see how it goes. Up, right. oh, good job, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, so I'm gonna start it right here. Here we go. Good job, buddy. I could even have food going while this is happening. Yeah, wow. If you saw him look down for a second, he was like, is this thing moving or not? Wow, so right away, I'm bringing, shh, right away I'm bringing food and I'm telling him what a good boy you're doing. Wow, very good. So we're rewarding with some food. Again, my energy is very good right now. I'm like, yes, good job. I'm bringing a little excitement to it, a little play state to it. Good job, buddy. Very good, yeah, smell that, wow. So again, this makes it, it's so much easier for him because of all the other things I do in his life of establishing leadership, being there for him, uh, providing that. And I don't look at leadership, a lot of people look at leadership as something that is, oh, you're making him do things. Well, no, I'm guiding him through this world, through life. I'm dedicating my, my life to guiding these dogs. Yes, good job, buddy. So this is really, really good. We're gonna stop it right here. Wow, very good, pal, very good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna settle them first. So Dawson, sit, good. So first I want him to be calm. Remember, this is now step four. We're gonna keep him calm and then invite him off. Okay, so he's nice and calm. And actually, let me go from this way. Off. Good boy, yes, and I won't do food. I'll just do good boy, back. <laughs> Down, yes, good boy, Dawson. That's Nico, by the way, you guys see in action. Nico being like, how come I'm not involved in that? I wanna get involved. So that's real time of me asking him, go back to what you're doing. I'm putting a, a limit on him right now. I'm giving Dawson affection, doesn't mean you need to be included. So he got a little, I wanna get included. No, you stay there. But that was an amazing one for him. I was actually surprised. I was expecting a little bit more like, what is this thing with him? But again, not giving myself enough credit in the leadership I've done with him because he's trusting me and Nico around this whole thing. So really, really good. So let's do the steps all over again, really quick again. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> he thinks he's involved again, Nico. Okay, so remember, step one, we're gonna do it in the way of just being around the tool. So I'm not gonna have anything. Let's go, Dawson. Look, so he's... <laughs> Already uh, very motivated to go on there, which is a great sign. I wish he wasn't actually, so I could show you guys, but for having my own dog, I'm very happy with that. So just being around it, he smells, he's on it, all good, right? Now we're gonna go to step two, which is the approach. So because we're using food, again, we wanna engage the nose. So I engage nose first. Yes, nose. Up, good boy. So there's the approach, really, really good. 
right? And I'm gonna always guide him to be facing the front when we start it, right? So from here, I'm gonna start. Good job, Dawson boy. Yeah, wow. No food, I'm not gonna use food here, but you could use food here, right? Wow, good boy. Good job, Dawson boy. So believe it or not, the affection from me as the leader is a huge reward for him. If I was a follower to him, it wouldn't mean that much to him. And let me remind you guys also about the leash. I just wanted to remind, because these guys are doing so well, it's hard to show you. There's another video we have on a dog who was an adult who had some issues on it, and we can put that link in the caption. You guys can see that video of a dog who was an adult who already had issues and how I'm using the leash. But just so you guys can understand, is when the dog is on the treadmill, in the, on the tread, and committed to doing it, as you can see, I have no tension on the leash. I have the leash short, but I'm not holding my arm tight and keeping him forced there. If he was starting, oh, let's see if he does it. If he goes in a direction, let's say he tries to get off that way, tries to get off this way, go off the front, I'm gonna use the leash pressure just to guide him back to where he is, where we want him on the tread, then reduce the pressure there. So pressure, look, so there, pressure on, and then I took it off as soon as he got back here. Look again, pressure on. Yes, good boy. Okay, so now we're gonna do step four. We're gonna stop it. Good job, buddy. Very good. We're gonna ask for calmness here, remember? And the reason I'm putting sit, sit doesn't mean calm. I just want you guys to be clear. I'm doing sit to stop the body from moving, which tells him, calm yourself down. He understands that. So then from here, we do the, the exit. Let's go. And then we do a little celebration. Yes, a good boy, Dawson boy. Wow, what a good boy, yes. And then let's have Nico come. Nico, yes, good job, guys. Yes, so we do a little celebration on here, have a little fun at the end. And this is the last memory of how it was for being on the treadmill for Dawson was, damn, did I have some fun on that treadmill. My leader had a good time, my big brother was on there. It was all good, fun time for him. And remember at the end, there was no um, fear. There was no um, escaping from the treadmill. He happily finished and then calmly exited. So that's it guys. Come here, big cowboy. Getting everybody going. So there's Dawson. And now let's get Joey uh, Marty, who is um, a dog who we're not gonna do Nico with this time. So we're gonna do him on his own so you guys can see it with a dog without and a balanced dog in your home. So here comes Marty. Okay, so here we are with Marty. And we're gonna go over the steps very clearly for you so you guys can see it. So Marty is a five month old, middle of the pack, American Bulldog, uh, medium energy guy. So he's, full, full disclosure, he has seen this treadmill and has been in this room, but hasn't really been on it or done much with it. He kind of went on it a little bit, but wasn't really sure what it is. So first, remember, step one, we're gonna bring them in and let them smell this and be comfortable being around this place. I like to use a leash because obviously with a the puppy, they can get distracted and go somewhere else. So we're gonna bring them in here first. All right, Marty, let's go take a look at all this. <laughs> yeah, I know. Mar oh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> a little tight room here. But look, I'm kind of going here. Look, if I come this way. Oh, wow, I'm actually giving food for that one. Wow, good job, buddy. Again, food, I can just give a fat. Oh, what a good boy he is. What a good boy on the treadmill, wow. So he doesn't have to stay on it right now. He just needs to be comfortable being on it. So obviously he's doing good. Yes, come here, pal. I know. So again, we'll walk around. We're still on step one, just being comfortable about it, feeling like he can go on it. He can come off of it if he wants. Just using this thing, yeah. wow, feeling good. So obviously we're feeling good about it, right? Come here, buddy. Come here, Marty boy. Sit down. Good. So now we're gonna do step two, where we're gonna do the approach of going onto there. So now he feels comfortable about it. So we're gonna bring food and have him come up onto the onto the. You listen. You guys can use food. You can use toy. You can use um, your just your excitement to get him on there. But I like using food, especially with the puppy, to engage the nose because I think it's super important. Remember, nose, eyes, ears. So I like using the nose. So again, here we go. So we got the scent, I use here. Guide him up, up, good boy. Something I should mention also is um, saying up at the moment he's already going up. So you guys saw in the place video, we talked about marking it. So when the dog is already motivated and going on, I use the words to do it, okay? So let's do the approach again. Let's go over here, pal. Okay, come on this side, buddy, so we can get you, we gotta see you, so scent. Up, 
Very good. Okay, so that's step two, the approach. He's feeling good about it. Step three, we're gonna start it. So I've never seen him do it. I don't know what he's gonna do, but let's figure it out. I'm gonna start it nice and slow. Good job, pal. Look, so I bring the food. Yes. Wow, wow. Look at that, wow. So now I'm gonna bring some excitement. Wow, look at Marty boy. So good. Look at you. Wow, so for him, again guys, because I'm the leader with this dude, and I put all this effort into and spend all this time of guiding them and leading them, is, ah, it's a good boy, Marty, yes. When, when I get into this happy-go-lucky mode, they're like, wow, the leader's feeling good about what I'm doing, so I should do more of this. We're like, I'll bring food, yeah. Something you can look at here, is I want you, if you can see with the camera, his paws a little bit spread out. Very normal. So when they're trying, wow, looks, yeah, so I'm gonna continue this on, but I'll explain the paw thing, but good job, really good. Feeling motivated about it. We stop it at a good time where he's feeling good. Yes, good job, pal. But not too much excitement at this step, right? So now we're gonna settle him. I'm gonna settle him, put a little pressure on the leash. Tell him about to go down. This is if the dog doesn't know sit, you could always just do sit with him. Good. So now we're on the step four, which is settling the dog after the treadmill stopped and then inviting him off. I'm actually gonna bring him this way through here. It's gonna be a little awkward for him, but I want him to kind of go off the side and get used to going off the side instead of jumping off the front. So look, we're gonna go from here. Okay, good boy. Good job, Marty boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. Wow, what a good boy. So this is where I get a little playful with him and the happy-go-lucky. Obviously, he's feeling good about being on the treadmill still. Good job, buddy. So Marty is our, that's the first steps for him. All I care about in the beginning is they just get comfortable on it and are okay with doing it and are not fearful about it. Um, they're not over aroused about it. I want them to just feel calm or happy-go-lucky about being on the treadmill. <laughs> so again, this is a, a intro for treadmill video. This was Marty, a middle of the pack, five month old American Bulldog puppy, had never done treadmill. He has uh, been on this particular treadmill and the treadmill we have out there when we were setting up the room. So he did see us setting the room up, but had never been really on it and seen it moving. So just so you guys have the full context of what happened there. Um, and there are videos, look, these are, again, puppies, if we do this the prevention way, right? So we're doing prevention, we're teaching them in imprint from zero to eight months of the things we want for life. So that actually gets downloaded into the brain that that's what we should do. So the more we do this in puppyhood and imprint, the more the treadmill means a fun thing and the leader loves it and we drain some energy and it's a good experience. So really, really good scenario there. Um, now let's get to seeing the final product, which is Nico who I did all of this with when he was a puppy, who's now a year and nine months. So let's see how Nico does and what the final version of this should look like. Nico next. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good boy. All right, guys, so here's when to see the final version with Nico on the treadmill and see what following all these steps through puppyhood and adolescent will look like in an adult dog. All right, Nico, you ready to show everybody what you're made of? Let's go, bro. Up. Yes, wait there, bro. I know, you're all ready. Okay, so as you can see, feels good about it, comfortable about it, good boy. And we're gonna start it for him right now. Here we go, bro, you ready? Here we go. Wow, look at you, big boy. Look at that big boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. So again, treadmill is not something a dog's gonna be so thrilled to be doing, but because I'm the leader, and I have leadership with Nico, and he follows me calmly, he believes, wow, this guy really likes him, me on this treadmill. This leader loves me on it. I'll absolutely do that. Good boy, buddy. Yes, that's my pal. That's the pal. And I'll show you another thing. I was saying you could bring more challenge and stuff. So Nico, this is a cakewalk for him nowadays. So what I'll do sometimes, I'll grab like a pillow or a toy or something and play with him. So I have one here. I'll show you guys real quick. I kind of will bring this thing and, and get him going a little. Ooh. And you guys are gonna see, for you sport dog people, this guy's not gonna be biting this thing hard and all that. I'm not looking for that. I just want him to feel good about it and enjoy it. So, look at this, you ready? Set, get it! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, by the way. Doesn't really care. Ready, set, get that thing, get that thing, get that thing. Yeah, there's the challenge. See how he got like stuck there? 
I gotta get him going with him. Oh, yeah, wow. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this guy. Wow, he's so tough. He's so tough. Wow. You got that thing there? Drop. Well, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. You ready? Set. Set. Go. Oh, my good, good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. That's right. Good boy. So, a little bit there. Obviously, you can see Nico's not like, give me that toy kind of thing, and I keep him like that. I want him like that because this is my pet. I put him around children. I put him around puppies. I put him around adult, everything. I bring him everywhere, so I don't want him to be so into like, give me that toy and that, that much intensity, right? So, finishing off, right, let's show the finished version of it. Nico, come up here, bro. Come up here. I know, yes, you're doing so good, big boy. Okay, so we stop it here. Very good. So as you can see, it stops. He doesn't say, I just jump off or run off the thing, right? He's gonna wait for me to give direction. So you get the eye contact. Okay. Good boy. Good job, bro. Good job. I know, you wanna do it again? <laughs> so. That's the final version of what it can look like if you follow these steps. If you have any questions about this, definitely hit us up in the comments. Treadmill's an amazing exercise. Always make sure, remember, as we always say, your energy matters the most when doing anything with your dog. So be sure to be in calm, confident mode with your dog and let them feel safe on this. Let them feel like it's an activity you really like them doing and they're gonna create a great association to it for life and you'll have an amazing activity to do for life with the dog in case there's issues with whether you know, schedule and all those things. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nico, thank you for your help. You did great, bro. We'll see you guys in the next how-to. Stay calm and confident, and we'll see you guys soon. Good job, Nico. Show them what the deal is. Yes.